Anyway, everybody, this video is going to show you guys and girls how to crack Paladin and beat it. It is Call of Duty's toughest special ops game, hands down. There's nothing that can touch it. You must be ready. You must have your weapons, then go down to munitions and load your heavy stuff. Your chopper gunner. In my case, I like the sentry guns because they kill the bots while you're guarding the ammo crates, the bombs. And then another most important thing you want is juggernauts. That's for the battle behind the supermarket. Now there's five distinct battles. This first one is getting Dr. Morales. You don't need any heavy weapons, nothing at all. So pick up the boxes and play away. So I hate to see it when people pull out a sentry gun and put it up in the very first battle. You don't need it, guys. You can kill all these spots with your guns. Now, if the guys that don't have all the slots filled like I do with three sentry guns, they can grab the special crates and bomb the heck out of them, and that's good. But two players need to have four sentry guns and two juggernauts. And the other two can just do anything they want. And that's the key. You have to be mic'd up. So this young player with us never spoke, he or she. That was fine. We worked together as a team and won it. Now we're all crouching down by the first uh, link. We're downloading it to find her location. But notice how they're staying close. But I do notice something after playing Cyberpunk for a few months. I noticed there's less bots. We're not being swamped. So it's on to the pool house. Here, I like the second story. I told him to bring her in, don't put her out by the front door. I even like to take her down the pool to activate it and then take her upstairs. But they're listening. They, what guy asked, should I put out my juggernaut? No, don't put out anything. We'll take all these bots with our rifles. I'm going to look to the right, and there she is. Perfect. So there's the young guy. We don't need ammo crates. I've got a LMG with six, 800 rounds. And you can do it. have three supplies. So the chopper landed. I'm going out the back window. Shoot it out with the pistol. I'm telling the guys I'm leaving. Nobody used the munitions yet. No special weapons. Not needed. So the first battle is over as soon as I get her in that chopper and I sit in it. Because they can't kill you when you're in a chopper. So the first battle is the easy battle. Don't pull up any of your heavy stuff. Pick up the boxes and whack the box. Alright, so now we're on to the second battle. Yeah, that's a tough one. What I love about this game, they keep getting tougher. Okay, notice I say we're going to escort the tank. We're going to fight to the supermarket. We're not really escorting the tank. We're going to fight our way to the supermarket. We're going to kill every bot we see. So you don't need the tank. If you bring that tank forward, the young guy got on the tank. I tried to say to him, get off. We don't need it to go forward. We'll hit the mines and the RPGs to kill it. So you don't need to escort the tank anywhere. The tank follows you. All right, White Feather. White Feather's a sub of mine that plans meticulously to beat these missions. Alan's the one, you can use the gunship chopper on the one, two, three, four, fifth battle behind the supermarket. You can take out the tanks with it. You get a lot of points for that. All right, but notice how we're thinning out the box. That guy refused to die. Again, he hit it with a, with a grenade RPG or something. Great team. Really starting to gel. So many teams fail here. And the problem here is when you replay the game, and if you used any score streaks up to this point, you're going to lose them. So do not use a score streak. If you lose the first battle in front of the supermarket, do not use it. Now, one of our teammates over here got down. Of course, the guy on the right is going to revive them. I have a team revive. I've never used it the whole game. Every time I started to, I get shot down. That's a good burp. All right, so I'm cleared. I'm checking to see everything's cleared out. There's one. There's a lot of bots in that building. That's why I keep looking at the doorway. 
All right, now it's time to go up. Now I'm going to look for mines. There's a mine right there on the left. I probably didn't see it. But there it is. He just set it off. So they're listening to me. Nobody's hopping on the tank. What we're doing with thinning out the bots. Now when you get to this corner, you're going to activate a whole bunch of more bots to kill the bots. Get the truck. And you're going to get the chopper when it lands. I'm shooting the shadow. I'm so rattled. Look at that. Shooting the shadow. There it is right there. You got to take the mines out. That's why you have no need to, this, to bring up the tank. Not at all. See, he just got the next one. Must have a sniper gun. So I came all the way down to check. He got the other one. But they're all gone. Great job. I come all the way to the end to check. Right here's where the tank parks. I know it's not the tank name. It's got some funky name. But that's all it is. Armored car with a cannon on it. All right, so it's back to the corner. Because what am I going to do next? Now it is thinned out. He's down again. But I screwed up here. I run over to revive him, but the other guy got him. And in the meantime, the helicopter dropped more guys. But I got this last guy here, and it's cleared out now. The whole team is wiping them out. See how easy that was? We didn't need the tank. Now see it shooting sideways over at the supermarket. So I'm going to hop on, and I'm going to bring it up. Now there's no RPGs to hit it, no mines for it to run over. This is how you win the second battle. Notice that player staying with me? This is the new person, the person that didn't ever talk. Probably a young man or woman, most likely, because you get kind of intimidated in Call of Duty lobbies. Notice my three sentry guns? All right, there's a supply drop. Time to load up. Friendly care package inbound. Now, what I'm doing is I bring the tank up to the corner. You see me Actual looking at the, the top of that turquoise route. building. This RPG is going to spawn there when that tank is to the crossroad. Look at that. That wiped them right out. Beautiful. Now, when I see a good team gelling around me, I tend to stop and stand still. You don't want to stop and stand still. You want to always be moving. But the AI will lock on you, and they'll hit you. They'll take you down. Here comes the paratroopers. This guy keeps running in front of us. That's the young guy or girl. All right, taking them right out. Beautiful. Chopper right there, watch this. Done. They didn't have a chance. He's down, but he reminded me that they're playing in a pair, just like I am, with the young player. Anyway, more another chopper landed since I turned around, but I got him. I missed that. That's all right. Okay, they should be cleared out. So now, obviously, what am I going to do? I got on the mic. That's the guys. I'm going back, and I'm going to get the tank. Now, when they bring it to the crossboard roads, they're going to swarm you. I'm looking. What I'm doing, I'm, I'm not looking to shoot. I'm looking to see what's down there. All right, so I'm going to hop on the tank. And I'm going to ride it up. A little bit past the rock. They'll activate again. So all that second battle is, is getting the tank in position. Clear out. There's a lot of bots around the supermarket. You gotta clear them out. Get your supplies under fire. You're gonna resupply your ammo, and then you're gonna, you're gonna get ready for the third battle. The front of the supermarket. The first ammo dump. There, I'm gonna use the score streak. I'm gonna pull out one sentry gun. However, it's only going to last a minute, but this team looks really good. 
Now why use one in the front? Because inside is twice as hard. You want two on the inside. Well, so far nobody's told me they have a sensor gun, so I'm thinking it's just me. See, they just activated. The third battle, guard the first ammo crate. It's an ammo dump, it's nothing but bombs. What you want to do, you want to run around, thin out the bombs, resupply under fire. And I'm getting in position right here. I'm going to put there's the, there's the drop box supplies. And I'm going to put a sentry gun right here in between the two ammo boxes, the two crates full of bombs. This is the one you photograph. Ignore all the other crates, they're irrelevant. This is the one they're going to attack to put C4 on. You want to look out for the shield on your view, on your window. But there's a shield with a yellow line going around it. That's got C4 on the crate. And you're going to lose the game if you don't stay by the crate. Now notice I'm staying by the crate. Now he's ready. He already just put the uh, photograph on it. Now I'm going to put a, a sensor gun right in between the two of them. Now, he's down, so I'm over the Bible. The sentry gun's out now. They got a lot of help. Thank you. And I see the guy had brought two, but he didn't put any up. But that's okay. It's outside. There's the RPGs on the roof. You've got to have one person on that roof to get the snipers and the RPGs out of the way. So I'm booking it for the roof. I'm telling the guys to defend the crate. And right now that sentry gun is wiping out the bots. More than any aerial score street. Look at that RPG guy. Take him out. Now because I'm here, they won't spawn. And they won't take out the team from above. So now it's them versus the bots. And that, like I say, that sentry gun only lasts one minute. But we got rated on this, and this is the quickest. This is the quickest third battle I've ever had. I mean, I'm going, what? It's already red. The timer's red. He had put that thing up before I even knew it. Analysis and I was shooting around before I put up the sensor gun. Perfect timing. I might have went 20 seconds after he Pegasus photographed the bombs. So, that was an easy third battle. One score streak used. Now get ready for the real fights. Alright, fourth okay, battle inside the supermarket. You're going to get to go down finding your way up the center to the ammo crate. No big deal. Two of us are down. We're taking them out. They always come up the middle. There's the guy shooting them. Amazing. So we work our way up, get the last box. Then I have to call the team up. They're still in the back. Because they will fight you forever inside the supermarket. You want to punch your way through to the crates. Now here, I'm going to put a sentry gun on the right. And I'm going to put a sensor gun on the left. But you got to remember, they're only one minute. So by going early before he activated, they didn't last. And we almost lost the game. But I detected it, and I'll show you how. See, I'm waiting. I'm yelling at the guys on the mic. I don't like to hear myself on the mic when I record these. It's better not hear me talking. I'm saying, you guys got to come up here. You guys got to stick near the crates. They're ready to photograph it. I'm putting the guns up, and they see what I'm doing. Putting the gun on the right. Now I'm out of score streak. All right, All right, so I've done everything I can do, but there's one more thing I can do to help the team. There's ammo box down. So for some reason, I can't find that door there. I don't know if they moved it or not. So I go all the way to the end of the building because I now want to go up the roof. On the roof, I can overwatch, but I'm going to go down right here. If you don't have a juggernaut suit, it's a perfect place for a jug. See, I got two, two bots there, and there is C4 on the crate. We're going to get ready to lose. Then a guy goes down. He comes over to revive, and I'm yelling, no, get the C4, and then I go down. But he does. He gets the C4. Watch. He'll get it. Boom. He got it, and we continue. He didn't lose. And now he's reviving them. Now I said to these guys, do not revive me. Defend the crates. I did my part. Respawning, I'm still making with the team. We're still talking. So I'm telling them where to put 
a sensory gun. One guy goes, I got a sensory gun. Put it between the nuke and the exit of the supermarket, right there. The right-hand side of the nuke is where they attack from. They do not attack. There he is running around. Okay. And I got my tequila. Just shot it for the heck of it. Because there's a recent park break. And there was a mine there, too. So now this is the battle, guys. They're going to come from the right. Ignore the tanks. Do not Stay even far. go across the other side of the wall. What I'm looking for is the tank that may have split through a truck, anything. But watch, he's going to put another turret on the right-hand side in front, right there. There it is. Beautiful. Two turrets. My black brother here had There's two turrets. He was Watch quiet it. on the mic, though. I wish I'd have known that. So this first turret's going to wipe out the box coming out of the supermarket. That other turret from the noose is going to take out the, the, the box from the truck. So now I'm looking for a hind when I look up. I don't believe, I don't trust the game. I don't believe anything they did last month, they'll do it different this month. So now people are chilling. See how we're staying in and near the nuke. Here's the nuke right here. Now right here, a little bit, they're going to need a juggernaut or something to block these spots. They're going to swarm out of that building. But this is nothing. Wait till the smoke hits. When the smoke hits, you want to get close. There it went. He got it. That was awesome. Now I'm really having fun, but watch. I'm barely moving. Bad mistake. These guys are flying all over the place. I'm like, oh wow, I got an open lobby Enemy team that's kicking this out. game's butt. Enemy I'm checking Enemy everything. I'm looking for bots trying to put C4 on it. They won't put it on the nuke, they'll put it on the bombs next to it. Now look at it, I got it cleared up. There goes the turrets. Now I'm yelling, if you have a juggernaut suit, pull it up. And I know the one guy has it. Now there he is. Look, I'm standing right in front of the door, wiping him out. Exactly same spot. So that's the first time I've respawned in the final battle and actually enjoy it. Look at these guys. They're wrecking. See, they'll come from the left, but not many. But they come at you from all directions. But mainly right there, where the juggernaut's wiping them out. Now the guys, and now the guys, and maybe girl, they know. They know we got this guy. Here come the pair of troop, paratroopers. I take him out. They're trying to get through you to put C4 on the ammo, on the bombs. Now here comes the smoke. Get close to the nuke. Very close. Keep looking for him. Looking for the signal. Now I'm going to jump up and check, and I know they're behind me. I'm going to jump back down. My guys are taking him out. Now I'm watching the, it's in red. The timer is in red. Now I'm not really reloading. I'm trying to activate. I'm going ahead of it. Now watch what happens. This is kind of weird. I'm going to grab that nuke the second. Do it right there on the square. And nothing came up, but yet we got the nuke. That's just a game glitch. But you hit that square, the barcode, and now that the chopper's landed. I'm telling the guys, the chopper's landed. Our juggernaut's still wiping them out with his second suit. No way. And I'm saying, guys, don't go take on the tanks. Let's get out of here. We just beat the game. So that's it, everybody. That's how you prepare for Paladin and how you can beat it. If you want to go in guns firing, you ain't going to do nothing. So anyway, pay heed to this video and see you guys in the next game.